the Kamarker on the X is quickly becoming one of our favorite lasers we've ever reviewed. You've probably seen us use it to create these amazing 3D crystal engravings, but along the way, we picked up some tips that can save you time and make your results even better. From choosing the right STL models to dialing in focus with the riser, we'll walk you through what really worked for us. If you've been curious about crystal engraving, or just want to push your laser to the next level, stick around. This is going to be fun. Let's hop over to Kamarker Studio and get this project set up. Side note, who else watches laser engraving videos while their laser is running? Just me? All right, so in Kamarker Studio, the first thing we usually do is set the proper height of the UV module by clicking the focus button in the bottom right corner. You might notice we're using this lifting platform. That's because with the recommended 70 by 70 millimeter lens, the laser module can't lower far enough to hit focus on its own. The platform raises the crystal up to the perfect height so you can get those sharp, clean engravings. Next, you'll need to position the platform so that the red dot shines directly on it. This tells the laser module where to focus. And here's the key. This is really the only time you'll ever focus on the platform itself instead of the material. Now, for the crystal itself, you'll want it as clean as possible. We're giving the whole thing a quick wipe here, mainly for the video, but what really matters is making sure the top surface is spotless. Any dust or smudges up top can get in the way of the laser beam and affect your engraving. You may have noticed that we are in a new location for this video. That is thanks to this video's sponsor, FlexiSpot. Check out this FlexiSpot L-shaped standing desk. It's huge, 71 by 63 inches. Plenty of room to spread out all your gear. On one side, we've got our MacBook, and on the other, we've got the ComMarker Omni X laser, and there's still tons of space to work. The control panel is simple, but super handy. You can move the desk up or down manually, or set up to four presets, so it adjusts to your perfect height with just one touch. And the cool part is how versatile this setup can be. You can keep it light with just one laser, a 3D printer, and your laptop, or load it up with three lasers, a printer, and still have room for more or go all out with four lasers, a 3D printer, and even a UV printer. The desk handles it no problem. It's rated for up to 220 pounds, and it raises and lowers smoothly even when fully loaded. Underneath, you can really see the heavy-duty frame at work. It's solid steel, with a one-inch thick desktop, so everything stays stable, even while it's moving. For us, it's the kind of desk that makes a workspace feel organized and flexible. Whether we are editing, engraving, or printing, we've got room to spread out and stay comfortable, sitting or standing. Overall, this FlexiSpot L-shaped standing desk is a solid upgrade for any creative space. Check out our Amazon link in the video description below. Now, back to our project. Back in Comarker Studio, the next step is to click on an option called 3D Glass. If you don't see it in the left side menu, it usually comes down to one of two things. Either your laser isn't turned on, or you're not connected. Once you fix that, the option should pop right up. Honestly, it'd be nice if the software always showed it so you could set up a project in another room or even with the laser off. Maybe we'll see that in a future update. Next, you'll be brought to this screen where you can press Import in the top right corner. But before that, we need a file. And here's the cool part. You can use any 3D print STL file. How cool is that? You can grab one from Thingiverse, Bamboo Maker World, or in our case, Printables. And that means you can engrave just about anything, even a Benchy. We actually engraved one in our last video, so if you haven't seen that yet, be sure to check it out after this one. And while you're here, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps us out. We will show a quick example of this Superman statue. We will get it downloaded and imported into Comarker Studio. You'll see the STL file is centered in the middle of the view, with a representation of the crystal block around it. This is where you'll want to double-check orientation. For this model, it doesn't really matter which way it's facing, but we usually align it to the front. That way we can capture it clearly on video while it engraves. Now, this is a value you'll need to set manually. The block we're using, which is also sold by ComMarker, measures 48 by 48 by 100 millimeters. Once that's set, adjust the scale of your model to make sure it fits nicely within the bounds of the crystal. In this case, scaling it down makes the design a bit smaller than we'd like, so we may try another model later to make it larger. But for now, this setup looks great. Using the 70mm lens, 
the only three settings we've ever needed to change from defaults are dwell time, frequency, and pulse width. We set dwell time to 800, frequency to 40, and pulse width to 15. The goal here is to mark the inside of the crystal without pushing too much energy in, because too much power can cause fractures to appear. And just in case your software defaults look different, here are the rest of the values we're using so you can double check your setup. We ended up finding this model of an angel statue instead, because it fills the entire cube, so this is the one we will end up engraving. Before we hit start, there is one more thing that we need to do, and that is to frame the design so we can center it within the crystal. Now this is one of the trickiest things to do with a UV laser, because the beam itself is often invisible and hard to see without the piece of acrylic Kamarker gives us. A trick that we learned is to use either a highlighter or a bright colored dry erase marker. This will allow you to better see that framing rectangle. Now with our lights and camera set up, it's still a bit tricky, but you want to align the rectangle in the center of your block. This rectangle is showing you the bounds of your first layer. With some patience and a bit of time, you should be able to use this trick and align it perfectly. Now, all that's left is to hit start. The laser module will automatically move up to center the design vertically inside the crystal. That's why earlier we focused on the platform instead of the top of the material. It tells Kamarker Studio exactly where the bottom of your piece is, so the software knows how to align the engraving perfectly. It is so fun to watch the Omniax engrave these crystal blocks, with the glasses or the shield down, of course. And honestly, it's been way easier than we thought it would be. Would you believe this is only the third block we've ever engraved? We had zero experience with 3D crystal engravings before getting the Omniax. What makes it even cooler is how many models are available online. You can start with statues, designs, or patterns like this one, and eventually move into photo engravings. Imagine custom gifts with a pet portrait or a family photo preserved inside crystal. That's definitely on our list to try. And hey, if you're enjoying this video and haven't subscribed yet, now's your chance. It really helps us out. One of the things we love about subsurface engraving is that you don't need any exhaust or ventilation. Plus, the blocks themselves aren't that expensive. Kamarker currently sells a six-pack for about $62, so just a little over 10 bucks each. For a design like this that nearly fills the entire block, engraving takes about an hour and 15 minutes. So here's a question for you. If you were making these as custom gifts, what would you sell them for? Drop your ideas in the comments. We'd love to hear what you think. And don't forget to start your comment with the secret thanks for watching to the end of the video word. <laughs> Today that word is mayo. After our previous videos, we stumbled upon these lights on Amazon specifically designed for the crystal blocks. It has a few different color options and effects. We think it really looks great, and it does an awesome job of highlighting those intricate details inside the crystal. It's still amazing to us that the laser can create a full 3D design right under the surface of the glass. That's going to wrap it up for this project. We've got plenty more experiments planned with the OmniX, including photo engravings, so definitely stay tuned. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with a friend who would love to see this kind of work. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay creative.